Hail Satan, Ave Satanas, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave Lord Bilzebub, Ave Lord Berith, Ave King Asmodeus, Ave King Asmode, Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith, Ave and Hail to every demon and every demoness in existence. How to make a pack. First and foremost, it is stupid to hire someone, in my honest opinion, really, I, I agree with this. It is stupid to hire someone to make a pack for you. After all, then the pack is between that person and the demon, and not you and the demon. This means no sense. This means no sense. You have, you have to be the willing participant, the one who approaches the demon yourself and makes the pack. Otherwise, you have no stake in it. Not only is hiring, hiring, it is hiring it out lazy, but it, but if, but it's kind of chicken shit, and will only encourage demons to mess with you. If you're afraid of demons, you shouldn't be shouldn't be making packs to begin with. Because they'll give you something to be afraid of. You either have to res you either have respect and honor for them, for the forces you're expecting you're expecting something from, or you or you don't. Guess which one gets better results. But now I have no problem with people. Actually, I think it's a good idea with brothers and sisters helping helping bro other brothers and sisters out, like doing rituals. Stuff like that for, for their brothers and their sisters. I think that's a great idea. Like going before Father Satan, King Lucifer, Lord Vereen, you know, beautiful Queen Lilith, King Asmodeus, King Asmodeus, going before them on behalf of another brother or another sister. I, I do that all the time. Every night, actually. Almost every night. You know, pretty much every night, to be honest with you. Now, where was I too? Okay. The more we begin to realize that magic really is about helping ourselves by knowing ourselves and by doing things to better ourselves, the more successful the results. This is definitely the case when it comes to packs because packs really are really are more about ourselves than the demonic. The demonic is simply the support staff that we hire to help make it happen. The pact you make is ultimately with yourself. And your determination and willpower, the demonic force, is holding you accountable to yourself. So in the next part of this article, I will go into I am going to show you how to make a powerful pact with a demonic force and I am going to explain how it works. The first thing you must do is to decide what exactly one wants. This is not the time to be unspecific. You either want the management promotion with the $120,000 a year annual salary with health insurance, bonuses, and four weeks of vacation time, or you can simply ask for a better job and roll the dice. The choice is yours. I have found that being specific gives, more, gives you more specific results. Whereas being broad and sweeping tends to work, but not always in the way that you expect. Write down, write down what you want and make sure it's really what you want. Do you really want to do a specific job? Or are you, are you simply wanting the increase in salary and benefits? Or, do you, or are you ready, or are you really just want, or do you really just want to be happy? Be careful what you wish wish for be careful what you wish for as an anac anac anaxon coined by someone who didn't really look before leaping. Next decide what you are willing to sacrifice for yourself to yourself. In order to make this this happen at this point in the example, we are not giving anything to the demons. Instead, you may need to sacrifice time or put in more effort to get what you want. Basically, how bad do you want it and what are your what are you willing to do? You get out of something what you put into it. Lack of effort often re results in lack of success and that's a proven fact. Third, my corresponding demonic force to work with my personal choice in any type of 
monetary gain, job, magic is Behelbegor. However, Behelbegor is best fed with a magician's blood, and this may not work for everyone. Belial might be a tamer, cho tamer choice for those who don't want to sacrifice a few drops of their blood for what they want since he's perfectly happy with offerings or plants. Then you'll need to decide what you want from the demon. At this point, I suggest the magician evaluate his expectations. If you are seeking to have a hand, if you are seeking to have it handed to you on a silver platter with no effort on your part, expect the magic manifest in in unexpected ways. It will it will work. Yes, you just. You just may be may not be pleased with the results. Instead, you're viewing instead of viewing the demonic as genies, who will grant you three wishes. I always recommend looking at the demonic as you as your support staff. Your support staff gives you the information you need to make inform make informed decisions, presents you with opportunities, and helps you find whatever it whatever it is. You need to manifest the results. You want what you want, whether it is a tool, a relationship, an attitude, or an, or an emotion. So a, pack, so a pack may read something like this. If you're being rather sp unspecific, and in this case of soulmates, I do recommend being rather unspecific when it comes to naming names and potential partners. For the great Asmodeus, I, I'll use my demonic name, Maggot, offer three drops of blood, offer three drops of my blood in exchange for knowledge and opportunity to help me find my soulmate. Here, herewith I affix my seal. Your seal is obviously your signature and your blood. You may choose to add qualities of the person you're looking for into looking for into the pack you may write it with far more elegance than the above write it up however you wish just make sure that you put the demon's name your name and your offering specifically in exchange for what for what specifically after you write the write that out on parchment using a magical ink atoned attuned to your intent. You would begin your ritual, invoke the demonic force you're seeking out, and then read your pack aloud to the demonic, to the demon, to solidify your intent to this. You would sign your name in in the presence of the demon and in the and this and in this instant add a few drops of blood. Then the parchment is burnt in the offering bowl, turning matter into to energy and symbolically alchemically transforming the request from the heartfelt want to the pure intent. From there, it will become a become reality. In this exa in this example, Asmodeus is not going to drop a soulmate off at your doorstep with a quick "here you go, enjoy." Nor is he going to hand over the person you ask for by name because this means influencing the other person, perhaps against their will. This often turns out badly. If you've ever had a stalker, you know exactly what I mean. However, Asmodeus may direct your attention to a party at a friend's this weekend and suggest you go. He may suggest you give yourself a shave or, a, or direct you towards a certain part of, your, part of the room while you're there, and there you may Meet someone who laughs at your jokes and shares your interests, leading to the opportunity of a date. If you ultimately just want wanted sex, perhaps the person go goes home with you. Asmodeus, in this example, merely provided the information and opportunity. You make you made the ultimate choice to act on the opportunity by attending the party, and you made the choice to talk to the other person and ask them out. This is a very simple example. Don't expect all encounters to happen this way.
Again, it is wise for the mag for the mag mag magnus magus to examine his or her expectations. Ultimately, ultimately, it it's wise to drop expectations of everything except the end result, wherein it comes in to the pack. When it comes into the pack, even through even there is always something. To be learned from the journey. Just be open minded to the method by which you end your end results manifests. Ave Satanas, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave King Lucifer, Ave King Pazuzu, Ave King Payaman, Ave King Asmodeus, Ave King Azazel, Ave Lord Amaman, Ave King Asmode, Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith, Ave Queen Tiamath, Ave and hail to every demon and every demon that's in existence. Hail Satan. I'll talk to you next.